one world. This tortoise is Lonesome George. Now, Lonesome George is a symbol of what can go wrong in a place like the Galapagos Islands. The first visitors to the islands were whalers, sealers, a bunch of people that came here in boats and they removed tortoises to use as food. Now, all these populations were evolutionarily distinct. And then in the last hundred years, fishermen and other people removed more tortoises from Pinta. And what we're looking at right now is the last tortoise from the island of Pinta. That's actually the last tortoise. Wow. One world, we'll be right back. the giant Galapagos tortoises, and they can live to be 100, maybe 150 years old. In fact, it's not inconceivable that some of these creatures were here when Darwin was here. This guy is the rarest animal on Earth. That's according to Guinness. His name is Lonesome George, the last of the Pinta subspecies of Galapagos tortoise. Only one. That's it. The Galapagos were a staging area for the great whale hunts. The whalers would stop up at the Galapagos to load water and supplies, and tortoises, hundreds for each ship. They'd stack the animals three or four deep in the hold, upside down, and the poor things would seem to live forever, without water, months at a time. By the turn of the century, the Pinta tortoises were almost completely wiped out, and when George passes, that last pirate soul is lost. The subspecies is extinct. There's some chance that there could be another tortoise from Pinta in a collection in a zoo somewhere in the world or in a private collection. And there's a real faint chance that there can still be a tortoise on Pinta. We really haven't removed that possibility. I see two other tortoises in there with George. Who are they? Those are two females from a population that is morphologically very similar to the tortoises from Pinta. If we can find a female, mate Lonesome George to that female, then we can actually restore the tortoises from Pinta. Some people feel that George is sexually dysfunctional and that you know we need to somehow another have a program to train George into being a oh, functionally or a sexually functional tortoise. Um, I suspect that it actually could be what you suggested is that George realizes that these tortoises aren't attractive to him because they're not from his population. Another thing that happened on Pinta, Pinta's a very remote island. It's off in the northern part of the archipelago. And um, fishermen introduced goats onto Pinta Island so that when they were out there fishing, they would have something to eat because the tortoises were pretty well gone. And so as the goat population exploded, goats tend to eat a lot more vegetation than a tortoise can, and the, and the island became relatively denuded. And so the few tortoises that remained couldn't recuperate very well. The population couldn't recuperate because there wasn't food for the juveniles. So how old is he? He was found in 1971, and he was an adult of that size. We know that to reach that size, with the growth rates that you would see on a place like Pinta, would take at least 40 years. So he's, he's a minimum of 70 years, and I suspect he could well be quite a bit older than that. So what we have is almost extinction. In other words, if that tortoise was to die, then the species of tortoise from the island of Pinta would be gone from the earth forever. By the way, Lonesome George is also E.T. Really, he was the inspiration for Steven Spielberg. Except George can't phone home. There's nobody there.